Hey guys, so today I created this look using the new Huda Beauty Nude Eyeshadow Palette. I also used three of her eyeshadow brushes as well, so if you want to see how to get this look and my thoughts on this palette, go ahead and keep on watching. I am so excited to dig into this palette. The colors are so, so gorgeous and just soft and neutral cool toned oh it's so different and i love it and the texture of these two shades right here there's a few of them throughout the palette it's so different and so cool i'm going to be using these huda beauty brushes that came in the pr package they're double-ended and there's three of them i believe you can buy them so i will list them and link them for you my eye is already primed with the Too faced born this way concealer and i set it with the translucent powder i'm going to take the shade secret on the build and blend brush the shape of this brush is so unique where it's not like rounded like your typical blending brushes it has more of this kind of flat side and i'm just going to buff this shade in my crease And I am going to build up this color. I'm going to take play on the same brush. And I'm going to use this slightly above the first color just to help blend it out. I kind of feel like this brush does all the work for you. Like this blended so quickly. I'm going to take the other side of that brush in the shade Teddy, and I'm going to use this to deepen up my crease. These matte shades are so like buttery and smooth, and they're blending beautifully. Wow. This is my first time using one of the larger Huda Beauty palettes. I've only ever used her Small Obsessions palettes before, but this is just like beautiful and soft. I really like it. I'm going to flip back to the other side of the brush and just kind of blend over everything. I want to do a half cut crease, so I'm going to take the Born This Way concealer again, and I'm going to take it on a Sigma L05. This is my favorite brush for any kind of cut crease or half cut crease. It's perfect. Now I'm going to take this Fender Bender brush from Huda, and I'm going to take the shade Crave, and that's going to go on the concealer. This shade is so gorgeous. It has like pink and green reflex in it, but it's also just like a nice pale shade. Oh, I love it. Now I'm going to take the Smoke and Smudge brush and I'm going to take the shade Raw and I'm going to use that to deepen up my outer corner, more like the outer half of my eye. And I'm trying to keep this shape rounded to follow that half cut crease. I'm going to go do my foundation and concealer and I'll come back and we'll do the eyes and some face makeup. Okay, I'm going to take Teddy on that smaller side of the blending brush and that's going to go on my lower lash line. Now I'm going to take Raw on the small side of the smoke and smudge brush and I'm going to put that kind of on my lower lashes just to deepen it up and kind of smoke it out. Then I'm flipping that brush over and using that to smudge it. Now I'm going to take base on the Fender Blender brush and I'm going to use that to brighten my inner corner. And a little under my brow. Now you could totally do any type of eyeliner you want. You could do a basic eyeliner, no eyeliner, a wing, anything you want. I'm gonna take a black eyeshadow on a Sigma E68 and I'm just gonna do a little bit right on the outer part of my eye. Just kind of as a soft smudgy eyeliner. Okay, now I'm gonna pop on some mascara and lashes. Okay, for my lashes, I used Huda Beauty Noel. And here is the final eye look. Now 
Now let's finish up my face makeup and I'll tell you my final thoughts on the palette. Okay, I have both eyes done. My face is feeling a little flat because I just have foundation and concealer on, so let's do some bronzer, blush, and highlight. I'm gonna take the Japanese Velvet Touch Blush in at number six, and I'm gonna bronze, and I'm using a Sigma F10. I'm gonna take the Sigma Face Powder in Cor de Rosa, and that's gonna be my blush. I'm gonna set my face with the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. Is spraying weird? Uh oh, my nozzle's cracked. Weird. For my highlight, I'm gonna use. I'm not using that highlight. For my highlight, I'm gonna use MAC Soft and Gentle. And I'm using the Anastasia A23 brush. Okay, for my lips, I'm gonna line my lips with the MAC Lip Liner in Spice. Then I'm gonna take the Fenty Beauty Matte Moza Lipstick in Single. I've actually never used this one before, but I've been meaning to try it out. I feel like that goes well with the look, right? Yeah. I also wanna take a little bit of the Fenty Lip Paint in Unbutton and just go like right in the center. Okay, I think that looks good, so here is my final look. I love how this look turned out. It's a little bit softer on the eyes than what I typically do. I love to use like dark brown and black to really deepen on my eyes, but I kept it more natural and softer, and I think it looks really, really pretty. The matte shades in this palette blended so beautifully. It was so, so easy to work with. Like, I'm very impressed. I feel like the matte formula of this palette is even better than the mattes in the mini Obsessions palettes, so I'm really happy about that. I'm also kind of surprised at how well the brushes worked. You guys know I'm a die-hard Sigma brush fan and I always will be, but I like to switch it up sometimes and these were really nice. Especially this fluffy one right here because it has such a unique kind of angled shape instead of more of a tapered or rounded shape like most blending brushes. I also did like this little smudgy brush too. I think it was really pretty for applying the shimmer and for like my inner corner. This side's a little bit more rubbery. I'm not sure what I would use it for. But overall, I'm very, very happy with the palette and I will be doing more looks with it. I know I need to dig into these gorgeous glitters right here and more of the shimmers, maybe these like purpley shades. Ooh. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.